These tomatoes and mushrooms, served at Maseru Cabanas, one of the most prestigious hotels in Lesotho's capital Maseru, and in other restaurants in the country, have a story worth telling. They have transformed the agricultural sector in rural areas, like here in Libari. Tons of crops are harvested every season. Mrs. Kabai proudly supervises the loading of her tomato mushroom crops, and she's expecting more trucks to come. There are various benefits that we derive from the project. We have contributed meaningfully towards the livelihood of others around the village in which we're working. We're now having a staff component of 14 people who are benefiting as a result of this project. In addition, improving in our operational mechanisms regarding efficiency mainly and effectiveness. Our main suppliers, are, we have supermarkets, we're supplying ShopRite supermarkets, chain shops in Maseru, there are three of them that we're supplying. We're also supplying the main hotels here in Lesotho, Lesotho San, Maseru San, all the variety of uh, greens and vegetables that we produce at the farm go to all those restaurant chain stores of which I've just mentioned a couple of them. Mrs. Kabai and thousands of other farmers have embraced greenhouse farming in the framework of the Fresh Fruit and Vegetable Project run by the International Trade Centre. The ultimate aim is to develop national capacity in the production and marketing of high-value fresh fruit and vegetables and to develop the value chains in the agricultural sector. The project which has been developed which is agricultural productivity under the Tier 2, has achieved a lot. The project, which was effectively started November 2013 within the larger Enhanced Integrated Framework, has ensured that both men and women are engaged in this innovative way of farming. We had a policy within the project which we have adopted that at least 25% of those should be given to women. But unfortunately, traditionally, Lesotho Many are the ones who are known for farming. The applications coming from youth as well as uh, women were very few. This is a youth, an orphan that received a greenhouse kit and now boasts of a thousand US dollars in his bank account. After paying school fees for his two twin sisters and providing food for his family, he now employs five people to help him manage his two greenhouses. A proud owner of a commercially viable SME business that is supplying ShopRite supermarket. Government authorities have also welcomed this innovative approach of using a combination of farmers' kits towards commercialisation of agriculture and are confident that it's boosting food security and directly contributing to poverty reduction. The enthusiasm among people now is really very, very high. Quite a, a large number of people are demanding greenhouses, but uh, we'll be, we are being guided by the, the, the criteria. So we must be convinced that anybody who qualifies for a greenhouse is somebody who has a potential. What is interesting is that those perishable products are now being canned for export to the EU and easy to conserve thanks to the cannery like this one in Maseru, which has become an immediate exporter of local produce. At full capacity, we are looking for 200 employees, 85% ladies and 15 men. This project on its own is uh, for, for Lesotho is creating employment and also for Basotho farmers is creating a big market for them. EIF, they have come up with a model which we are quite happy with by trying to promote uh, small scale farmers to realize the market surrounding them, then it will be win-win for all of us because that means for us, we'll be getting what we need next door, other than going, getting them like 800 kilometers from here. So the transport issue won't be an issue anymore for us, and the border issue won't be a, an issue for us. So I think it will be good for the economy of Lesotho as well. And next year we have to produce a, a lot of tomatoes uh, Basotho Kenas applied for that to us. They came here. Obviously, all elements seem to be in place for a sustainable production and trade of fresh fruit and vegetables, which explains the joy and optimism of these farmers. You know, in the greenhouses, 
uh, we found that we were fortunate. Previously, we were attacked by uh, insect pests, most of which come flying in like with uh, butterflies, uh, mosquitoes, uh, locusts. All those were excluded by the nets. There's no such insect pest problems. I planted the seedlings, the tomatoes in the greenhouse. We started selling and only to find that uh, by selling, you know, there was more money than I thought I would make more. So we, we are very happy with the greenhouses. In fact, if it was possible, we would like more because we want this whole field to, 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 to produce at the maximum. From an 8 meter by 15 meter greenhouse, production has improved from zero commercial products to an average of one ton of tomatoes, 1.1 ton of green pepper, and 1.6 tons of cucumber per each greenhouse. This EIF project has tangibly reduced poverty, linked farmers to markets, and created jobs in a country with very high unemployment. Farmers, men and women, are continuously learning how to sustainably use agricultural resources, water, and land, and producing high quality products for hotels and export. Yes, this project has impact for good in the country's agriculture and rural development and making markets work for the poor. No wonder why there is a higher demand for more of such technology. The EIF project is helping commercialize rural agriculture and create sustainable productivity of agriculture in Lesotho. The project is also connecting the private sector to farmers and importantly contributing to the government's food security program. Thanks to financial support from the development partners, the EIF secretary, and the ITC for making markets work for the poor.